Well, um, we have a question here. We are doing, we're doing question 1.1, uh, that says so for X. And then the question 1.1.1 says, um, uh, I'm gonna write the question here. Uh, X squared uh, minus 6X uh, minus 16 equal to zero. And then we are, we are asked to find uh, the values of the value of X. So uh, we can solve this type of question by, uh, um, by uh, because it is a quadratic equation or trinomial, we can solve it by factorization. We can solve this by um, using the quadratic formula or even by completing this square. Okay, I want to do different methods here. You select what's going to be easy for you. Now, um, let's do by factorization. By factorization is when we transform the trinomial in the product of two binomial of the form, uh, you know, when we have like a product of two binomial, like A times B equal to zero, okay? We can say then A equal to zero or B equal to zero. Now, how do you do that? I'm gonna write the quadratic equation here. X squared minus six X minus 16 equal to zero. Now we look at the leading coefficients. I mean, the coefficient of X squared. Since it is equal to one, all we can do is just to open brackets here. You write X, you close the bracket, you open another bracket, you write X, close the brackets, and then set it equal to zero. Now you are going to consider the last term. It's negative 16, okay? So now we're gonna write here, uh, negative 16, and then we're going to list all the factors of 16, okay? Preferably in ascending order. So I'm gonna take the values like one and 16 because one times 16 makes 16, uh, two and eight because two times eight makes 16, uh, four and four because four times four makes 16. Now in the list of the factors of 16, we're going to select that only one cup, which will make a sum equal to the coefficient of uh, the middle term. This uh, is it's negative six. Now let's see. With uh, one and sixteen, we cannot make negative six. A sum of negative six. With four and four, we can either. But with uh, uh, two and eight, we can. If we do, uh, if you have like positive two and negative eight, so it's kind of it's it's going to be like this trial and error. Okay, we select until we find the that only one couple that makes a. Uh, the value, the sum equal to the coefficient of the middle term. So we can place them. Uh, order won't matter. I can start with negative eight on positive two, it won't matter. So positive two and negative eight. Then we we have this uh, property for mathematics. So this is like A and that B. So uh, if we have like A times B equals zero, then we can say, okay, either A is zero, so X plus two is equal to zero or uh, x minus eight equal to zero. So this means if you move the positive two over, that makes negative two, if x is equal to negative two, or x, if you move negative eight over, x, is, x will be equal to eight. So this is uh, solving the set equation by factorization. It can also be solved by using the quadratic formula. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move uh, this way. By the quadratic formula, Right here, using the quadratic formula, using a quadratic formula, just gonna brief it like this. Form, um, quadratic formula is given by uh, x equal to uh, minus b plus minus square root of uh, b squared minus four ac all over two a, okay? Uh, Why the quadratic equation itself is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Now the idea is to identify uh, the coefficients of a, b, and c, okay? So if we look at here, the coefficients of a uh, in our equation, a, the coefficient of a is one, okay, it's one, okay? If you look at over here, in over there, uh, usually people say, okay, oh no, there's no coefficient, other say it's zero. No, there is a coefficient and it is one. If you don't see any number in front of the x code, like I wrote it over here, it's one. And then the coefficient of b uh, is six, right? No, it's not six, it's negative six. You need to take the number together with its symbol, if, 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 with its sign, I mean. No, and the coefficient of 16 is, of c is negative 16. Then those are the values of uh, a, b, c that we're going to sub in, in this uh, formula here 
to find uh, uh, the, the value of x, the solution. So x will be then equal to my right here, negative p plus minus square root of uh, b squared minus 4 a and c. Okay, all over uh, 2 a. Now we're going to submit the values of uh, uh, of, of uh, the coefficients. So minus b, b is uh, negative 6. So I'll look at b there. Plus minus square root of b squared, so negative 6 squared, minus 4a, a is uh, 1, and then c is negative 16 over 2a, 1. Now we're going to set these values as they are in the calculator. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. In the calculator, I'm going to write uh, 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 negative, six, negative 6. Uh, I cannot write plus or minus in the calculator, so I can just first, I can work them out separately. Let's first do uh, plus this root of uh, uh, negative 6 raised to the power of 2, uh, to the power of 2, minus 4 times uh, a, and then c, which is a uh, negative 16. We close the bracket there. And then over 2, a, 2, open bracket, a is just 1. Close the bracket. Now, if you press equal, OK, we get the value of 2. Uh, uh, so, um, um, OK, no, let's get a double check. Uh, over here, we had like um, uh, negative 6 plus uh, square root of uh, negative 6 uh, squared. OK. Uh, um, when I look, oh, yes, we didn't write this negative sign, OK? Because this negative is, OK, the negative sign is uh, much a bit closer there. So we, we didn't write that one. So I'm going to place this negative sign in the break in the in the in the calculator here. So over here, uh, this is negative over here. Yes. Okay, negative sign there. Well, now when we press equal, yes, we got it because uh, we have two. So we have like two solutions here. The first solution we have like uh, x is equal to eight. Uh, uh, x is equal to eight. Eight. With the positive now, or x with the negative, then if I use the same calculator, I'm going to change. I'm going to remove, uh, remove this positive sign. I'm going to place it negative over there. So uh, over here again, just going to uh, move uh, and then change uh, plus like, minus. Okay, press equal. We got the negative two. So. Uh, Notice that there are the same values that you get here. Uh, negative two, negative two, eight, and eight. We can also solve the same problem by uh, completing the square. Okay, I'm going to say here, by completing the square. By completing the square, okay? I prefer it like that. Now, by completing the square is when we transform the constant of the C value Okay, which we write the C value in terms of, uh, of B and A. It's going to be like B over 2A raised to the power of 2. Okay, note that you can apply this value, this method only when A is equal to 1. This formula only when A equal to 1. Use this formula only when A is equal to 1. So if A is not 1, we need to make it 1 by dividing the whole equation by the coefficient of A in order to have A equal to 1. Okay, so um, the equation initially was x squared minus 6x plus no, minus 16. A was already equal to 1, the coefficient of x squared. So what I can do then, I am going to express, okay, this uh, negative 16 in terms of, uh, I want to change the C value. So how can I? Uh, I have to move the negative 16 over, that makes positive 16. Then I will substitute C that constant value, the constant value by uh, the value of uh, b over 2a to the power of 2. So let's work it out somewhere else. I'm going to say uh, c will be 
uh, b is 36 over two times one to the power of two. And this is equal to uh, uh, negative two to the power of two, which is equal to nine. Now, I am going to substitute here a uh, negative three to the power of two, okay? I prefer to write it that way. And then write over here plus nine. Now, at the moment that we write C, we express C in terms of B over two a to the power of two. What we can do next is, we're going to take the basis of the first and last term. So I'm going to write here X uh, minus three to the power of two only. You know, this is when we make it, uh, this expression, this term becomes a perfect square because we can write it like this to the power of two. So usually I get this question, why did the negative six goes or why X is not? Okay, if you expand the X minus three to the power of two, you will retrieve the equation above, this one. Okay, and this is equal to uh, 25. Now, um, Okay, not such negative three to the power of two is the same thing as nine. Okay, I just take this value instead. I prefer to write negative three to the power of two over here and then nine over there. Okay, because here I just, I'm just gonna calculate this. Here it just, it was hard for me to write uh, the equation in, form, uh, in the form of a perfect square. Okay, then now that we have like uh, X minus three to the power of two equal to 25, we can uh, solve we reduce this if we square root both sides, okay? We square root, why we square root? Because uh, the square root cancel the power of two, and then we're left with x minus three equals two, or plus or minus five, right? Now, if we move the negative three over, this will be uh, three plus minus five. And there are two solutions here, okay? One is equal to three plus five, and the other is one x equal to three minus five. So if X is equal to three plus five, we do, uh, we, this means X, X is equal to eight. And then if X is equal to three minus five, that implies that X will be equal to negative two. So uh, you can see, regardless of the method, by completing this curve, we get the same value. Uh, we're using the quality equation, same values, and also by factorize, factorization, we get the same values. Thank you.